There's 1,200 cows total, so we're usually milking around 1,050 on any given day. And on average, our cows are producing around 90 pounds per day, which is close to 90,000 pounds or 10,500 gallons leave the farm to be processed. Ten years ago, I put in four robotic milkers as a trial, and we liked them a lot. We've taken it on to be at 19 robotic milkers today, and we're going to 21 uh, by the end of the year. And uh, had we been at 21 six months ago, we would have been the largest robotic farm in the nation. It's the future now of uh, milking cows and making uh, more meaningful jobs. And uh, we're very, very pleased that the cows like and adapt to it very, very well. So we want cows to be cows. Um, our goal is to have cows be as happy as they possibly can. We want them to eat, drink, sleep, walk around, get milked anytime they want to. So when a cow walks into the robot, the machine's gonna ID her and then it will say whether or not she's allowed to get milk based off of how long it's been since the last time she was milked. It will start to feed her a grain, and then it will start prepping her udder. It will wash each teat two times with a brush, and then it will go under and attach each cup individually until each one is attached. And then it will milk her completely out and then let her go. We've got a lot of uh, monitoring systems in place to help us know that we've, we're doing the right job. We could bring them to a certain comfort level before, but the robots just allow them to be that much more comfortable and they just have control of their whole environment and day-to-day -day routine. Somewhere is really close to 99% of the farms are still family owned. All of us have some equipment that costs more than the houses we live in. That's the nature of our business. And with that, you have to farm more acres and to adapt to this technology. And I really hope people will understand that 99.9% .9 of the farmers want to do the right thing and work very, very hard to address problems and be good stewards of the land and the cattle and their employees and community. This is really a big part of the future of feeding a hungry world.